Let me start with how important and helpful you think that the J&J &J vaccine is going to be. On the face of it, people go, well, the other one gives me 95% prote protection, this one 70, so why would I do it? Well, that's a great question. <clears throat> and I think uh, we have to look at it this way. Uh, the J&J &J vaccine will be another arrow in our quiver, uh, our quiver against uh, the deadly, deadly COVID-19. Now, uh, you're right, it's slightly less in efficacy, but you have to compare that. You have to compare that to the flu vaccine. And in essence, all of the available vaccines are far more effective than the flu vaccine, which many of us try to get as soon as possible. So I would suggest that everyone get whatever vaccine you can get the quickest. Uh, also, the J&J &J vaccine trial showed at least 85%, 85% efficacy against the most severe aspect of COVID-19 respiratory failure. Mm -hmm. Let me turn to the, to the falling hospitalization rate and, the, and what seems to be the lowering case count. Why do you think those two things are happening? Did we, did we come through the holiday surge and, and now we're on the, on the other side of that curve or what? Yeah, that's precisely a part of it. Um, we saw the surge uh, with the holidays and we're on the, on the back side of the shoulder of that curve now and we're reaping some benefits. I think also uh, there's been a greater emphasis, far greater emphasis on mask wearing, on, on personal hygiene, uh, staying away, social distancing. That has a profound effect, profound effect. So I think those two together are contributing to the drop. Now, a warning, we're still gonna see an increase in death rate simply because there's a lag. But the good news is that death rate eventually will start to decline also. Yeah, I mean, my hands are like habitually chapped, just speaking to your point, uh, just from all the hand sanitizer and hand washing. Uh, Dr. Panettieri, I want to go back to the vaccines for a minute. Um, one of the things we've heard from both the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines, particularly after the second dosages are administered, is that some people tend to have a pretty strong uh, reaction to the, to the shots, the side effects. I wonder what the J&J &J side effects are looking like versus those. Yeah, uh, you know, we participated in the trial and there was in some, uh, some individuals, uh, low grade fever, maybe muscle aches, a bit of a head, headache after the dose. So uh, most vaccines uh, that are effective will generate an immune response. That's actually good because we want the immunity against the foreign protein. In the case of Pfizer, and Moderna and mRNA vaccine, you get that initial dose, and then the subsequent one, your body is primed to react to the foreign protein. I personally had received the Pfizer vaccine and, and did have a low-grade fever, muscle aches, headache for a day, and then it passed. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.